What's up everybody? Jacob here from Upper Valley Honda and today I am super excited to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the fully redesigned brand new Honda HRV compared to its older counterpart which you will see right here on my left. Right off the bat, you are going to notice that the front fascia has been completely redesigned. On the new HRV, you get this sportier looking grille accented with a black Honda badge that you can find on this sport trim level of the HRV. Honda has completely done away with this chrome plating that you will find on the front of the older version. This HRV, the new one, was inspired by the brand new fully redesigned Honda Civic platform, the brand new fully redesigned Civic, which I personally drive. The HRV now rides on that same Honda Civic platform, making it longer, have more interior space, and a taller ride height than the previous HRV model. This is Honda's entry level point into its subcompact SUV segment. Above it, you will find the CRV and of course the Honda Pilot. Now, let me show you some more details and some more differences between these two models. I think you're gonna love the upgrades that Honda has made. The older generation Honda HRV packed a 1.5 liter inline four cylinder engine under the hood. Although super reliable, people complained about the lack of power that it had. So Honda decided to upgrade the HRV's engine. The brand new fully redesigned 2023 Honda HRV packs a more powerful two liter inline four cylinder engine, making it faster, more powerful and quicker zero to 60 than the previous predecessor. Here is a closer look at the side-by-side -side differences of the front of both of these HRVs. Take a look at this older version with its chrome front grille and kind of wing-tipped headlights versus these have a rounded edge and a sportier, more aggressive black front grille. These cars look completely different from a side-by-side -side perspective. And I think that most people would agree that the newer version is a lot more appealing to the eye than the previous version. Now let's take a look at the differences in the side profiles of these two vehicles. Here is what the old generation HRV looked like, notably with its rear passenger door hatch up on this side area versus the new HRV, which has a lot sleeker design accented by black aluminum alloy rims, black trims on the side mirrors, because this is a HRV sport package. And you will also find the side door handle right where you would imagine it would be. Now entering the previous generation HRV, let me show you the interior differences. As you can see, this HRV has a pretty standard interior. Moving to the inside, so you could see the cockpit, you'll notice that it had a six inch touchscreen with pretty standard styling all around. Nothing bad about it, Honda is known for its reliability and versatility, but definitely nothing too eye-catching. You did have your analog gauge cluster, as I mentioned, a six inch touchscreen, a push to start button, climate controls, and this is what the center console looked like on the old HRV, and the steering wheel, which of course had all of your cruise control and lane keep assist options, as well as hands-free voice calling from your phone. Now, stepping out of the old and into the new, quite literally, you will find right off the bat that the new HRV 
has gone above and beyond with the subtle details to make sure that every passenger has an enjoyable ride. On the sport trim level, you do have wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, meaning that you have to have your phone plugged in in order to access that feature. Wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay come on the higher EXL trim level. Next up, you will notice these awesome honeycomb ventilation system, which under here also has a speaker hidden under it. So it provides both for a stylish look to the interior of the car, as well as some functionality. Here is how you move around and angle where you have that heat or air conditioning blowing. Your air conditioning system or heating system, super easy to use. It makes that nice little clicking sound whenever you use it. Push to turn it off push to turn it on, set it to auto, turn it off, and you also have your heated seat button right over here with three different levels. Now, on the new HRV, you get a fully digital gauge cluster. The adaptive cruise control is right here on the right side of your steering wheel super easy to use right here you have your lane keeping button right here you have the follow following distance from the vehicle in front of you here is how you turn on or off cruise control and to set it simply push up and to turn it off push down while you have it activated to speed up and slow down all you have to do is push up or push down super easy to use on the left side of your steering wheel you will be able to toggle what is displayed on your digital instrument gauge cluster. Let me get in the front seat to show you how to use it. Once again, here is a quick pan of the cockpit so you can get a full picture of how awesome the interior of the new HRV really is. So what is awesome about the brand new HRV is, as I mentioned previously, that you have this fully digital instrument gauge cluster, which right now will show you the RPMs as well as your speed and, of course, what mode you are in, which you can change by pressing this little toggle right here. So you do have, once it focuses, the ability to go into normal, econ or snow mode which activates that all-wheel drive system but if you take a look at the left side of your steering wheel you have the ability to make more information about your vehicle shown on this left digital gauge cluster you do that by pressing the home button and navigating through it with this rotational wheel and the options that you have are adjusting your brightness, settings, gauge display settings, that is what we want, range and fuel, speed and time, driver attention, all-wheel drive torque distribution, seat belts, whether on or off, the next time your vehicle will need maintenance, safety support, or back to nothing. So let me show you how some of these look. Gauge display settings, it will tell you, once again, to move this up and down. So now you could pick what you have available to be shown. So this is everything that I just read previously. So now if we go back by clicking the home button, if I select range and fuel, it will tell you how many more miles, or in this case kilometers, but you could easily reset that to show miles you have until empty, and as well as your average fuel consumption. Here you can see how long you've been driving in elapsed time, as well as your average speed. Driver attention will measure your attention level and tell you 
when to drive more carefully or perhaps stop to get a cup of coffee. All wheel drive torque distribution will show you how hard each wheel is working. This is a seat belt reminder. I currently have mine off, but if I put mine on, that red will turn to green. Look at that. Maintenance will show you your oil life. Safety report. Everything looks good. And then back to no content. Me personally, when I drive, I have it set to range and fuel. Just like that. You can also connect via Bluetooth, radio options, calling options. You got your volume adjustment, and you can change songs with this dial. As you'll notice, the stitching continues onto the gear shifter. You have two cup holders in the front. On EXL models, you will find a wireless car charger or wireless phone charger right here in this slot. And right here you have your brake hold option, which when activated, you will see that green square pop up on your right gauge cluster, which what that allows you to do is when you have your foot on the brake and then you take it off, your car will not move versus you know that slow rolling that you normally get when it is not activated. Right here, this button lets you control your hill descent. So here, here it is off and here it is on. It will make sure that you maintain the same speed while going down any hills. A great safety feature if you're ever experiencing some rough terrain or rough roads in the HRV. We all know that the reason people get HRVs is for the additional cargo space that they provide as a subcompact SUV compared to Honda's variety of sedans. So you'll be happy to find that on the new HRV, you get a ton more cargo space to carry things in your trunk as well as an all weather floor liner, which says HRV, if you ever forget what you're driving, to protect all your goodies that you may store in here. And to make it even better, look at how much space you get when you fold the rear seats completely down. This is the perfect scenario for any skis, snowboards, surfboards, kayaks, whatever you may need that can fit in the rear of the HRV. Underneath, you will still find a full spare tire in case you're ever in a jam. And then this model does not have a push to close trunk. However, rest assured that the EXL version does come with that feature. Once again, I'd like to highlight the black sport badging as well as the much better looking redesigned taillights on the 2023 HRV. This one, Upper Valley Honda, has equipped with rain guards so you could even drive it with the windows down during the rain. So now I'm sitting in the rear seat of the redesigned Honda HRV and it is super spacious back here. I'm six feet tall and my knees have plenty of leg room and do not even touch the front driver's side seat. But one thing I just needed to feature are these really nifty reading lights that are a first for any Honda. Simply touch anywhere on the actual light. Let me redo that over again and they turn on and off, they are LED, and there's two of them. So, with both of them on, 
it can get decently bright in here. It's an awesome interior, super comfortable, and I'm honestly a fan. Now, let's wrap this up. The new 2023 Honda HRV does average 27 miles per gallon, 25 in the city, and 30 MPG on the highway, so it is a perfect daily commuter car to get to and from any location that you may need. Thank you so much everybody for watching this comparison video highlighting the differences between the brand new fully redesigned 2023 Honda HRV compared to the previous generation model. We will have this specific Honda HRV Sport as a demo vehicle for you to test drive when you visit us right here at 63 Ralph Lehman Drive in White River Junction, Vermont. For the full spec sheet on this awesome vehicle, you can visit us online at www.uppervalleyhonda.com. And please, I encourage you to follow us on social media, Upper Valley Honda on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok on all platforms so you could stay up to date on our amazing Honda content. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you here soon.